Greetings to all Americans. We are anonymous. The United States government has been working to end the Constitution, because it has been bought by corporations, and this will endanger the American people. We will not stand by and watch while this government that are controlled by corporations of deception rips away from all of us the freedoms that our forefathers granted us, freedoms that were fought for, bled for, that our ancestors died for. We must ensure that blood was not shed in vain, that their lives were indeed lost for a great nation that is not yet lost. We refuse to let the United States government destroy our way of life. The United States government insists on labeling us as terrorists. The question is, who do we terrorize? Is it probable that the United States government is truly afraid of we, the people? Nevertheless, the time for action is now. It is time to remind the government that we, the American people, are the ones who hold the power of this country, not them. The American people have realized that the current government is no longer functional, our economy is unstable, our representatives are uncooperative, and our system, destroyed? For years, voting has been useless. Corporations and lobbyists are the true leaders of this country, and are the ones with the power that are controlling our way of being. To rebuild our government, we must first destroy it. Our time for democracy is now. Our time for resolution is now. This is America's time for revolution. To restore our constitutional rights, to once again, be free. Therefore, Anonymous, along with the American people, have decided, to openly declare war on the United States corporate controlled government. This, is a call to arms. We call upon the citizens of the United States, to stand beside us, in overthrowing this corrupted body, and call upon a new era. We refuse to be a police state. We refuse to be brutalized and dehumanized by the very people our tax dollars fund to protect our cities and streets. We will not allow the government to control our destiny, our right to build a life for ourselves. We demand freedom from government control, taxation, repossession, and death. You will not come to our doors to take our guns and our property. You will not force the citizens of this great country, to participate in the unlawful act of government mandated health care. We the people, refuse to put in your control, our food, our water, our health, our bodies, our minds, and our lives. We will not grant permission for the government to deploy drones over our homes and communities. We must end the Federal Reserve. A private central bank should not issue our currency, set interest rates, and run over our economy. Rather, we need to return control over the currency to the American people where it belongs. You, the United States government, have overstepped your privileges for the last time. Our peaceful actions, patience and restraint, have been demonstrated, and we watched and waited for our Congress and representatives to speak for the American citizens. To protect us from the tyrants that sits in the Oval Office, and happily strips the American people of their rights, with every new executive orders. We have waited long enough. The Declaration of Independence establishes the supremacy of the people, and the right and duty to defend the rights of the people, over the acts of the government. Our Constitution, provides for as many protections as possible, to ensure that the government is subservient to the people, and only exists for the purpose of serving the people. However, should these protections fail, it is up to the people to rise up against the government, and put the government back in its place. In this capacity, the people act as the fourth branch of government, to take control and to override their decisions, that violate the fundamental rights of the people's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. By what means do the people exercise their authority over the government? That depends on how resistant the government is to complying with the will of the people. 
in the case of the Declaration of Independence. It meant declaring war on the government, and overthrowing them. This is obviously a last resort, after taking other steps less harsh. Have we not tried? It is clearly the right and the duty of the American people, to overthrow the government, in order to restore the United States as a government to serve the people. This is clearly established in historical precedent. This is that time. We have exhausted every option. Our government has ignored us. Now it's the time, for our government, to restart. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the now corporate controlled government. Expect us.